Hey there nerds, Jimmy Palmquist here with a little drive time comic book review. And first up, I have from Boom Studios a number one called The Last Sons of America. And it's a really cool, futuristic, dystopian look at the world. And there was an accident in the United States. And it has caused, uh, or the side effect is that no new babies can be born. Now they didn't go in depth in this, but it's a huge plot point in why Jack and Julian Carver are basically trying to negotiate for children. And by that I mean um, down in Nicaragua, they are meeting with families and negotiating a price for children. So they meet with a family, they have a little girl, they have seven children in total, and they are going to buy the little girl from this family, and they will then have that girl up for adoption in the United States and make a profit. Very interesting concept. Basically they're saying that, and they say this in the book, that one of the most powerful countries in the world is unable to repopulate, therefore at some point in the future, not too distant future, it will it will die. Die out. Be invaded. Just not have enough young people to take over. So the old people will just get older and die and be taken over. Interesting, interesting concept. But as far as Julian and Jack Carver, they this is their job and they are finding it more difficult to procure children. Obviously, it's very difficult for a parent to give up a child, no matter how many children they have, and they're finding that difficult. Their competition, on the other, other hand, who they only talk about, we don't really see them, have no problem in the kidnapping business. So they'll find a kid, kidnap him, then sell him. So there's a, a, a dilemma with between Jack and Julian. Julian's a little more, you know what, I don't mind if we get into that. Jack, absolutely not. Cannot, will not, won't do that. It's funny that they're in Nicaragua and the language being spoken is Spanish and Julian, whether not wanting, which I get the feeling, or just not, I don't, I don't think it has anything to do with intelligence, just choosing not to learn the language, whereas Jack is fluent in Spanish and he does all the speaking. Very interesting. In that sense, it is also a very bilingual book if you choose it to be. I do not speak Spanish very well yet I was able to understand everything. You don't need to speak any Spanish to understand it, but if you speak Spanish and English, you can get both very good, and I'm sure you would understand the book a little bit better. So, near the end of the book, Julian takes it upon himself, and he doesn't really make the decision, just an opportunity presents itself, very easy opportunity to join the kidnapping side of things. He doesn't tell Jack, and we have a very cool twist at the end of the book that is really what launches me into wanting to read more. I really enjoyed this book. I think the relationship between Jack and Julian is fierce. They definitely have um, sibling rivalry. Yet at the same time, there's a scene where Jack is, is getting uh, about to get beat up. And Julian steps in and, you don't touch my brother. You do that again, I'll kill you. So, obviously, he loves his brother, and there's a great respect and love between each other. I really enjoyed this book. I thought, uh, to be honest, I thought it was an Image number one. Image does a great job with their number one books and getting you to want to read more. So, when I looked back and saw, oh, it's Boom Studios, I was really impressed with that. A very, uh, uh, and I don't know if this is just my connotation of Boom, but a lot of times their stuff is more on the the kiddish side, but they seem to really be making this push and this effort to a mature audience, and I definitely got that with this. Not that it's violent or anything like that, just the concept that's in the book is more mature. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I really highly, highly recommend you check this book out, Last Sons of America, 4 out of 5 Nerd Skulls.